chat gpt agent mode tutorial and review hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can get started with agent mode on chat gpt so first off you're going to log on or sign up for free for chat gpt now the agent mode is currently only available on the premium plans of chat gpt so we're going to proceed with our account and i'll show you guys how you can upgrade your account and then use the agent mode in chat gpt and all of the different things that you can do with this mode so i'm just going to sign on into my account over here and then we're going to enter our birth date midge Maisel, and then we're going to go with our birth date so it's going to be 26 07 202 and then click on continue now once we proceed we're just going to answer a couple of basic onboarding questions and just like so we have chat gpt now we're just going to skip this basic onboarding and we're going to move forward towards upgrading our account so that we can get started with the ai agent mode so click on get plus on the top right and you will see you have business account subscriptions or personal account subscriptions so we're just going to proceed with the personal plan we're going to opt for the plus plan there is a pro plan as well the plus plan is twenty dollars the pro is 200 and i'm going to click on get plus to get started with my account upgrade so we're going to wait a couple of seconds and we're just going to fill in all of our info and once i fill in all of my info i'm going to proceed on to the next step now we have completed our basic subscription so we're just going to move forward so over here we can explore sora and just like so this is chat gpt plus where we can even you know create images now we're going to go back into chat gpt and we're going to get started with the AI agent mode. Now you guys can see that this is, you know, the Sora GPT and you can have images and a bunch of other things, including videos, top videos, as well as likes and you even have a my media section you have your favorites uploads as well as your own trash now we're gonna go back into gpt.com when you usually upgrade it does lead you into sora because that is you know one of their more premium products that is not available on the free version so you're just gonna go on ahead and then sign up sign on back into chatgpt.com and then you're going to go ahead and click on tools now once you click on tools within your prompt box you have agent mode now once you click on agent mode over here you're going to describe a task you can see at the bottom they have several different tasks that you can do including some suggested ones so we have reporting we have actions spreadsheets and presentations so within this some examples include research personal cooling solutions for hot weathers research fundamentals of natural wine versus traditional techniques so on and so forth audit fast fashion versus slow fashion wardrobe cost and impact so let's say i want a report on that five financial environmental outcomes with 50 item wardrobe by ultra fashion retailer so on and so forth and once i do that i can even specify the sources so if i have anything in my box dropbox github gmail canva i can connect those resources and i can choose if i want to allow web search or not allow web search this allows you to create some really detailed reports uh, when you connect this to your own resources it just makes it really easy to navigate through so just click on over here and gpt's agent is going to build your report and these are not just any reports these are far more detailed than what you're normally going to find you can see within the prompt in itself it has a decision matrix that balances style turnover desires with sustainability goals now from here it has asked me a couple of questions. Are we considering a specific time frame, like a five-year period for analyzing the garment lifespans? Do you have standard assumptions about garment durability? So on and so forth. You can just click on continue if you do not want to answer these. And it's just going to pick out whatever it thinks is going to be more applicable to this particular report. Now it is opening sources. And this is what I really like about, you know, visually seeing the data is that you're able to see what exactly the AI is doing, where it's looking, how you could actually, you know, learn about a bit differently with these different models because you do get a fresher perspective sometimes rather than doing your own research over and over again and you end up opening and closing the same old articles now we're going to wait a couple of seconds for our research to be completed so that we can move forward into the next step now it's just doing all of the research for us and i'm going to wait a couple of seconds this usually takes around two minutes to complete the entire report and after two minutes your report would be ready and you can easily utilize this report anywhere that you need so now moving forward we have completed our report or it worked on it for seven minutes so that was actually way longer than i had initially expected because in my in the past queries that i've you know experimented with those were a bit simpler 
So from here, evidence on garment lifespans and environmental impact. Then it has assumptions used for five-year wardrobe scenarios. Below that, it has calculations. And then it has a final result. Then we have interpretation and a decision matrix and then a full conclusion. So in summary, we have a small paragraph for a summary as well. And we have a very accurate report. Honestly, building these types of reports can take you so long on your own. And when you have the ability to use ChatGPT, why not avail it? So this is just one use case of using ChatGPT's agent. You can go ahead and use agent in any of your queries. So if I want to make slides for this report, make them concise. So now I want to convert this entire report and that is about the fashion impact, environmental impact of fast fashion versus regular fashion. And now I want to convert this into a slide. So I don't even have to, you know, do the templates, finding the right colors, finding the right graphics, copying the text, all of that can directly be handled by ChatGPT in itself. You guys can see if we even read within the report, you can see the references. You can see it has highlighted important parts. So most fast fashion garments fall apart after fewer than 10 wears, promotes 52 micro seasons, slow fashion garment lifespan. So this can be 100 to 200 wears. And after that, we have another sustainability piece notes that to justify a garment's environmental impact, it should be worn at least 30 times. The cost per wear for each one of the items as well as assumptions based upon the five-year wardrobe scenarios. So typical price per garment, certified slow fashion brand, secondhand platforms, and below that average lifespans or wears. Then below that we have the cost per emission. So it's 2.5 kilograms for fast fashion jeans. It's 0.23 kilograms CO2 per wear, one eleventh of fast fashion. So you guys can see that slow fashion brands would have a lesser impact and from there we can you know build our results or our reporting and interpret our decision matrix so moderate style satisfaction because timeless designs and better craftsmanship means fewer purchases and style changes require mindful purchases now within this it has also included the category of secondhand fabrics mixed fabrics so we have a really detailed and defined report on everything now i'm gonna wait until these slides are completed and then i'm going to show you guys what the slides look like so right now it has drafted the entire outline it has the image viewer right now and it's checking slide three layout overflow and it is going to just complete my entire slides and it has taken a bit longer than expected but again it is making sure that everything is being adjusted properly you can even see what it's doing i'll modify the call out design to remove the bullet characters and aligning all the space so this ensures that everything that is created is very consistent and it's something that you can actually enjoy and directly download and be able to present other than how Having to make all of the tweaks by yourself. So right now it has completed the presentation. I can download this by clicking on this icon or share this as well. And it's now going to load up my preview of the presentation. So building a sustainable wardrobe, we have the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth slide. And we can just play these as well to see how these slides look. And just like so, you can get started with using ChatGPT's agent for detailed questions and reporting. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe.